Thank you to our sponsor, Wondershare, with the Famasafe app, keeping our kids safe with its location tracker, allowing us to set boundaries and alerts to keep our kids safe. Braden's calling. Getting a haircut today, huh? What's new? What are you doing? Good morning, fam bammers. Welcome to another vlog. It's about 10 o'clock. I actually just got home from doing a little job. Tina, as you can see, is on the phone with Brayden, you guys. So today is a Brayden update. We're gonna keep you guys posted as to what's going on, how his week has been, any messages um, that he would like to share with you guys. We'll let you guys know in today's vlog. What are you doing? I'm texting Grandma. Texting Grandma? Grandma Margie or Grandma Blanca? Blanca. Oh yeah? What are you telling her about your vacation coming up? I will. I haven't told her yet, but we're just saying how I, you know, she's watching uh, our cousin Brianna right now, and then she also said that Brianna went to the beach. Yeah. Oh, so like, cool. Oh, you could FaceTime them. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you should do that. What are you eating? Eggs. Ooh. Is that like your favorite, like, breakfast? Do you like just scrambled eggs, omelets, waffles, what? Well, I would like, if I learn how to like omelets, but usually I have like eggs with cheese. Yeah. So you guys comment down below and let us know what's your favorite breakfast, like quick breakfast meal to make? I actually love omelets, bacon, cheese, um, bacon and cheese omelets. You guys, so delicious. If I ever go to a hotel and there's breakfast there, I'm always getting the omelets. So comment down below and let us know what's your go-to breakfast. Boom, so just got off the phone with Brayden. Got off the phone, he'll be calling back a little bit later, but doing good. Doing a lot more work just meeting people because they're able to kind of go outside and walk around and do stuff. Um, cool story, he kind of told a story about a lady that they met in a church parking lot where he, she takes like her daughter there to go ride her bike and stuff. But the lady had lost um, a six month old baby Oh. And so he he was just kind of giving her words of comfort and stuff like spiritually, which was a really cool experience. So Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was something kind of cool, new and different. So So as Tina said, like he's able to go out and about. So it's actually kind of cool that he's able to start ex like experiencing these different things that he hasn't been able to for so long since he's pretty much been in in uh, under quarantine. And so it's actually cool. We're excited for these upcoming months to see if, as he's able to go out and about. We're excited to, um, to share some more of his stories with you guys. And so we're going to talk to him a little bit later. He went to go what? Get something to eat? Mm -hmm. Went to go get something to eat, just run some errands. I think they've got to like change the tires on his car, things like that. And so, um, yeah, in the meantime, you guys are stuck with us. I do not mind my crazy hair. I have not had a chance to curl or anything. So it is frizzy, frizzy, frizzy. Um, so just got done running some errands, but you guys, we are going to be going on vacation very soon. So I want to kind of get ahead of the game and start getting things packed and ready. Um, so I have been washing a ton of laundry because you guys know I'm always behind on laundry, whatever. And so as I'm washing laundry, I'm putting like outfits and stuff aside that we're going to take for the kids. Um, and what I think I'm going to do, I've done this before, but what I'm going to do is have... Um, instead of suitcases, I'm gonna have each kid have their own backpack and we're gonna pack all of their stuff into their backpack and they're just all gonna be responsible for their own things, which I feel like is the best way for like a trip where you're not gonna be gone too, too long um, because obviously a backpack's not gonna work if you're gonna be gone for weeks at a time or whatever, but we're only gonna be gone for a few days. I feel like we are gonna be able to pack in all of their outfits that they need, all of their like hygiene products and different things like that into their own individual backpacks. So this is what I got going on right now. I've taken all my blankets off my bed so I can devote my bed completely to laundry, you guys. So I just have stacks of clothes um, that I'm folding, some that I'm gonna have the kids put away that we're not taking on vacation, the other ones we're setting aside and having them um, pick which outfits they want for vacation and things like that. I still have two bins over here that I need. These are both clean, so I gotta go through all of this, fold them up, get that all ready. That's my sock bin, you guys. Do not judge me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know about me and my sock bin, and I know a lot of you guys are the same way, which makes me feel even better. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be spending most of my day doing today because I literally just want to get ahead of the game. I actually have, you guys, my room's such a mess, but I have these Trader Joe bags with some of the food that we're gonna be taking up, which if you guys haven't seen that haul, go check it out. That's where we got like a lot of our vacation food and stuff that we're gonna be bringing up with us. So I just have this in my room so it doesn't get eaten. So it's all ready to go for the vacation. So I'm gonna be doing this in between like calls with Brayden all day today and just kind of plow through this and get this done. <laughs> Here we are gonna get ready to start packing some things into her backpack right there. My backpack, backpack, backpack. My llama. She's got her cute llama. So we are gonna be packing some of her clothes into here. I've got her pile of clothes here um, that are newly washed. So we're gonna go through these and see what she wants for vacation. Um, through all of these and then we're gonna put them in your backpack. <laughs> yeah. So we pretty much got most of her outfits picked out. So what we're gonna do is first is we're gonna try to roll them and see how well that fits into the backpack. Usually that allows more room when we can roll them up. So we're basically have like her pajamas are here with some extra t-shirts yeah. and then we have each outfit like she's got some outfits here, different mm -hmm. outfit options. And so we're gonna roll these all up, see if we can fit them all into her bag. And plus, even if they don't, there's like this little zipper part right here, which we could try putting stuff in here. Yes, so we're gonna see what can fit, what can't fit, and we are going to probably add maybe one or two more outfits to this, we'll see. Probably. <laughs> so far you guys as you can see there is still tons of room for things that we can fit in here we have her swimsuit we have her pajamas we have her outfits all in here we have some extra shirts mm -hmm. we are probably going to add maybe two more swimsuits to this and then in the front pocket we just did like her undergarments and things like that in that one <laughs> <laughs> and then um yeah so you guys a lot of it fits and the cool thing about um them bringing their own bag and stuff is she's she has a water bottle that goes with this bag mm -hmm. that she's going to bring with her for the drive it's just easier if you can fit it all into a backpack for everyone just to be able to take care of their own stuff um so they are in charge of getting it out of the car taking it into the house when we get there um packing it when we get out and oh there's the water bottle yeah so she could totally just bring that in the car or whatever with her as well it's like the perfect size too yeah and also the nice thing about having backpacks too is um they're smushable so when you <laughs> when you get into the car or whatever and you're trying and we're trying to pack in tetris everything in these you can kind of shove in little crevices or they can have it um by their feet or whatever i just feel like it, it allows for more room so mm -hmm. If you're not going on a long, long vacation and you have kids, I feel like backpacks are the way to go. Just makes things a lot easier. So anyways, she is pretty much set. We do need to get you some socks. And, Actually, I know what some are. Oh, so we're gonna get her some socks and then a couple more swimsuits and then she's good to go, you guys. And then we actually, we will also add in her toothbrush and stuff so that she has it all right, all of her stuff right here in this bag. So I'm just jumping on here real quick. I know Tina's been doing so much today. I'm gonna head out right now. I've gotta go get some little snacks, actually for Ethan, because Ethan's doing his chore. He's taking over for Brayden. He's doing the dog poop. So you guys, it's so funny with him out there. He complains the whole time, but he does it. And if I say, oh, don't worry, I'll do it, or I'll get, um, have Elijah do it, he's like, no way. He's like, he'll totally own it and do it, but he does not like it. It's kind of, it's kind of funny, huh? What? Ethan doing the dog poop. <laughs> he was like complaining about it. He's like, oh, I hate the dog poop. <laughs> and then Danny's all, oh, I'll just, I'll have Elijah do it. And then Ethan's like, stop, I'll do it. <laughs> So he's out there doing it. He'll do it. He just grumbles. He's here, like, let's see. I'm going to try to see if I can get a peek of him. I don't blame him. He's over here. I think. Where'd he go? Is he hiding? Oh, right oh, what's he doing? He doesn't. He should bring the bag over there. He's got a system. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> he's 
got his system. He's gonna go back and get some more. There he goes. As he does get it done, I try to tell him to do a little bit every day, but he doesn't seem, really, seem to want that. And so he's always like, the bag's so heavy. <laughs> so the dogs go in like one area of our backyard. And so he's, he's tackling that right now. Wait for him. So. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Orange chicken and fried, Ooh, rice. and fried rice with some extra egg added to it. This is all from Trader Joe's. We've got Emberlyn over here talking to Brayden. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up, fam bammers? What's your head on my head? Three hours later. Boom, so Emberlyn and Ethan have been hanging out up in the loft. You guys, the past couple nights have been doing what? Watching the Dude Perfect Show. What's it? Is it called the Dude Perfect Show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so it's called the Dude Perfect Show. So what do they do? It's like. Uh, it's just like a day in the life kind of thing, but yeah. like. Like a vlog? Kind of, but some like it's like kind of stage and whatever. But, but it's really funny. It is. Dude Perfect, you guys. I do not know a kid who does not like Dude Perfect. <laughs> so what was that noise that came out of your mouth? <laughs> Tell everybody what happened when you yeah. did it to me. What does she mean by she she got you back? Um, when she was with her friends, I put on the mask and I crawled right under her. She looked down at me. <gasps> well, I like screamed. He scared me so bad. <laughs> mask on vacation because oh yeah we want to scare some people <laughs> do we have grandma grands too or just oh, that would be awesome we gotta, yeah we gotta try to find her so you guys it is literally the end of the night right now um you guys got all my dishes done i know you're so impressed <laughs> um i saw a thing today on twitter that somebody posted and they said uh if you don't do your dishes tonight they'll still be there in the morning <laughs> and i was like I don't want him to be there in the morning, so I just uh, got my dishes done today, but I did get quite a bit done. Sorry, it's dark down here. We're kind of settling down for the night, but um, let me show you what I got done with packing. Boom. So I've got both boys packed. They both helped me. Um, Elijah's shoes are not fitting in his backpack, so we're just going to take those along with us. Um, because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff that will require tennis shoes So I put those in Ethan's shoes fit in his bag perfectly. Okay. I think Elijah just had more clothes in his So we got Ethan's bag. We got Elijah's bag Amberlynn's bag. We've got our food bags. We also have some fridge stuff We're gonna be bringing but you guys I just feel a million times more less stressed because we still have a few days before we're even leaving you guys um, and I'm pretty much all finished with packing these kids so Ashlyn still needs to pack her which she does an amazing job with that and actually I think she's gonna be doing a video over on her channel of her um, packing and showing you guys kind of how she does her whole packing routine so make sure you guys are following her Ashlyn Phillips go make sure you're following her channel so we got all of this and then this way like um, I can kind of focus on more of the cleaning around the house the shopping like the little odds and ends things that I have to shop for and I don't have to stress so much about all the packing and stuff so but we still need to pack me we still need to pack Danny I do need to get a bunch of clothes still put away there's a little dent in there you know I asked you guys on my Instagram a little while ago how many of you guys fold your clothes on your bed so it forces you guys to have to put it away at night that is what I'm doing right now you guys because it is now nighttime and I'm like looking at this I'm like oh maybe I should sleep on the couch <laughs> Still a few more things to 
do, but I'm feeling good that I've got a good bulk of it finished because we still need to go get the car cleaned out, washed, all of that stuff. And so you guys, we're honestly really looking forward to this vacation. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and we're excited to take you guys with us. Also, you guys, real quick, I wanna let you guys know that we do have some masks for sale on the website right now, you guys. Go check it out. So many of you guys were asking for us to get masks and we did it. Ask for the mask, you guys. There it is. Oh, I don't know if it shows mask. backwards, does it? It might show backwards how Danny's doing it, but go to the website, check it out on the yes. website because we have youth sizes and adult sizes and we are so excited. So it's on pre-order right now. So if you guys go order it, you guys will be some of the first people to get the masks and we're so excited about them. Yeah. So go check that out. We'll leave the website and all the information down below. Um, go check that out. Boom. There you go, you guys. We are closing out. It's late tonight, but we did, before we wanted to head out, we wanted to kind of fill you in a little bit on Brayden, right? Yes. So Brayden, did we tell them that he had, there was like a, his old, or his, his, what the other companion's apartment almost got broken into yes yeah so he did That's go through that last week yes they actually luckily were i look tired <laughs> i know it's late you guys Ooh. so he was actually at his apartment and from his apartment they can see the other missionary's apartment and so they were luckily all over at brayden's apartment, apartment and um brayden saw the people trying to break into the other missionary's apartment um and just like messing with the door handle and like he was like in a hoodie and just like very suspicious and crazy and had like a getaway car and everything um luckily they weren't able to get in but brayden then they had to like call the police file a police report all that stuff so kind of crazy and scary they're kind of like in the heart of Salem, which is kind of a little bit. It's iffy. a little bit of a shady area. Yeah. And so, um, but he's okay. They didn't have anything stolen. Yeah. Luckily, the door was locked. But it, he yeah. said they were in the apartment and then left over to his. And then the guys came right after. So he felt like they were kind of scoping them out. Like waiting for them to leave. To leave. And so it's a little eerie. So they all, you know, spent the night together that night. Yeah. I just think it's just a reminder that like, oh man, he's out there on his own, like just roughing it. So yeah. we are always, I mean, there's not a day that goes by that we don't think about him and pray for him. And I know a lot of you guys are doing that as well too. So thank you guys for keeping him in your prayers because crazy times right now yeah so. definitely but he is in good spirits he's having a good time yeah he's, he's teaching he's he's just talking he's, to people yeah it's just a it's a different right now because he's not fully in quarantine and so um so we're happy better. about that it's a little yeah. weird for us because now we don't get the extra call during the week or the text messages yeah. we literally have to go from monday to monday and so uh, we were spoiled for a while so. yeah so but you know what? I it's crazy. Time is flying. Like, what do you say? It's always long, long days, short years. Mm -hmm. He's and been out for ten months. He just hit his ten month mark. Wow, you guys, he's so, almost at the halfway point. So that's so crazy. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. So just wanted to give you that that little update on him. I know a lot of you guys ask frequently, and so we wanted to give you that update. And so we'll try to send. Do we have any pictures? Um, I think maybe one. Okay, so we've got like one. We've got like one, one or two pictures of him. <laughs> He's walking around. I think I saw one with, like, his, mask. with his mask on yeah. and so on. So, and speaking of masks, make sure you guys go check out our merch shop. We've got some masks actually being made right now as we speak, and we've already got some orders in. Charles. Fan Bammer Charles was the first one to, yes. to order. And so. <laughs> There's actually uh, quite a few of you, and we posted it pretty, pretty late, late tonight. So you guys rock. Yeah. You guys are awesome. And so we're excited to see you guys send us pictures of you in your mask with your PFB logo. So go check that out. And that's it, you guys. We're definitely going to see you guys tomorrow in a foodies video. So don't forget to subscribe, like Ooh. this video. <laughs> and most importantly, don't forget, choose, choose your day. day. I see a light in your I fall.